Hi guys, today in my video, I'm just going to talk about a DIY mistake that I run into on service work sometimes. And that is replacing a 15 amp breaker with a 20 amp breaker. And sometimes I'll even see 30 amp breakers on number 14 wire. So that's a big no-no. The wire gets really hot and to do it actually correct, you know, you need to uh, go larger on your wire, you know, so it can handle the increased current, the increased load. So what they'll do is the breaker will start tripping on a 15 and what they'll do is they'll just go ahead and take a 20 and they'll just replace it. Okay. Well, that wire gets really hot and then that's where you get your failure because it's drawing a lot of current and a lot of amperage and you don't want to be heating your wire up. That's a big no, no. You always want to rate your wire correctly to your breaker. So you see over here. So number 12, is on 20 amps that's correct see that okay now number 15 right here is on 14 that's correct that's where you want to be now running a 20 amp on 14 don't do that that's bad i mean you might get away with it for a little while but you're gonna heat up your wire you're gonna cause problems and you know potentially you could cause a fire depending on your situation and that's bad you don't want to go there so just always make sure that you rate your wire correctly and even if you have to, uh, you know, unplug some things to balance that circuit out, you know, don't ever, you know, do that where you just put a larger breaker in because it could potentially cause a fire and that's very dangerous. You know, you never want to do that. And I have seen boxes where I've opened them up and literally the wire nuts are like, they're on fire. I mean, they're just like, I've seen it outside and inside and I've seen it, you know, where you open it up and it's like the wires literally like burning I mean the wire nuts are melting and you, yeah it's really bad so you just want to make sure you always rate your wire correctly for your breaker and just you know so you're safe you don't have to worry about it you don't want to worry about a fire or anything like that that's like the worst but number 14 what I would always suggest is just use it for lighting circuits don't use it for uh, general outlets you know because, you know, some appliances will handle it. If it's a smaller appliance, it, that's fine. But normally, I would suggest all your receptacles just run number 12. And that'll pretty much be within range. It'll never go over 80% because you never want to go over 80%. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to be doing a lot more DIY mistakes that I see when I do service work. And usually when I get there, there's a lot of extension cords because they've lost their circuits. You know, the outlets have burned up. They've lost, you know, breakers, things like that. So I'm just kind of giving you what I see. But if I can show one in the field, I'll definitely show you what it, what happens when you run 14 on 20. And I run into them all the time. So if I get one where I can show you the video, I'll gladly do that for you. So I hope you guys like these little videos. I'll be doing more DIY mistakes on here that I see when I do service work. So I hope you like the videos. Like and subscribe and have a good day, guys. Thank you. Bye.